the four must have custom audiences for your Facebook account. Yeah. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. And today I want to talk to you about the top four custom audiences that you must have inside your Facebook account. Now, why is it important, number one, to use custom audiences? Well, this is actually a tool inside of Facebook that allows you to create audiences that are just for you. That means that there's lower competition. So if you think about it, Facebook is an auction system, right? It's a system where people are bidding, and if you're using the same audiences as everyone else, you can easily be outbid. You can easily have a misconstrued pool of ideas because if you're marketing to them, your competitors are, someone else with a complimentary or ancillary product is, it can get really messy. But if you have your own custom audiences of people who have engaged with you at some point in time, it means that that's your audience. They're already warm, they already know who you are. And we know that people who know, like, and trust you are actually gonna be the people that are going to then purchase from you because that's what they need to do. They need to know you, they need to like you, they need to trust you, and then they will transact with you. Pretty simple, right, at the end of the day. But how do you actually create these audiences, right, and what they look like is pretty straightforward. So the how-to is really, really simple. All you need to do is go into the audience section of your Facebook Ads Manager. You need to click on Custom Audiences and then click on Create. Now there's a whole range in there that you can choose from, but what I would recommend to you is that you focus on these core four. So the very first is your customer database. Now, the reason why you want to use your customer database as opposed to anything else is because you want to find people that have already transacted with you. Now, there's two reasons for this. Number one is so that you can build a lookalike audience. A lookalike audience is an audience that most closely matches or looks like, hence the title, right? That most closely looks like your ideal customer. Now, if you've got that audience and then you need to give Facebook uh, all your, let's say, 100 customers, they'll go and find you 1% up to 10% of the population of your country that most closely looks like them, which means you are going to get really, really high levels of response because they should be most likely, again, to purchase from you. The second reason you would upload your customers or even your database is because you've already paid to interact with those people. And a lot of the time when it comes to email and everything else, things can get messy. So it's a surefire way for you to be able to confirm that your customers, your clients, your database are actually seeing content from you. Uh, and again, making sure that you know exactly who that is. So that's the other benefit of using your database or your customers as a custom audience. Number two we're gonna look at is your Facebook page. Your Facebook page engages to be specific. So it used to be that you could select people that have engaged with you in a certain way, but now it's just really everyone that's engaged with your page. Facebook's kind of categorized it again. They don't want you to discern too much between those, apart from one other option, which I'll give you at the end as a cheeky little bonus. But the way that it works is that you can select your Facebook page or again, any ancillary pages that you have and choose people that have engaged with it over a certain period of time and a Facebook will go and collate those for you. So again, if you've been running ads, you've been putting content out on your Facebook page, it's a super powerful audience because they've already been interacting with you, they've already been watching you, they've already been seeing what it is that you have and what you're doing. So that is another beautiful audience. So number one was your customer database. Number two is your Facebook page engagers. Number three, and this is gonna be asterisk depending on if you're using it or not, but number three is your Instagram audience. If you have a business page on Instagram and you have it connected to your business manager, that's gonna be a hugely powerful audience for you as well. So ensuring that you actually use Instagram, number one, if you're not using it, you probably should. Number two is connecting it up to your business manager so then you can select it as a business audience. What happens is then you can do exactly the same thing that you did with your Facebook page with your Instagram profile as well. So that allows you to pull and collate all of your Instagram audience, again, into one audience because you know that they've interacted with you in some way, shape, or form. Now, when it comes to running your ads, why is that beneficial and how would you use it? On your ads, the cheeky benefit is you can run your Facebook page engages, you can run ads to them on Facebook. Instagram page engages, you can run ads to them on Instagram, which means that you're speaking to them in the way that you know they like to be spoken to because they follow you already. Then you also have the benefit that you're running ads on the platform they're most engaged on. Because yes, there is gonna be a cross-pollination. People who use Facebook will be on Instagram and Instagram will be on Facebook. But we wanna get the best bang for our advertising buck. That's what this is all about. That's what the focus should be on for you, especially in 2020. Now the fourth audience, and I'm gonna give you two in this, right? So this is a double banger, two for one, right? So the most 
important one that you should be using is your website visitors because people who go and find you, who Google search you, who come across your website and then utilize your website are very, very important because they found you, right? They've gone out of their way to come across you. They should be, and they put asterisks, should be people that are highly engaged with what you're doing and how you're doing it. So that means that you've got a huge opportunity to really leverage and connect with your audience. So once they go to your website, retargeting them and creating a custom audience of those people and interacting with them across on either Facebook or Instagram, depending on where you're running your ads. However, what's being released is the possibility to remove yourself from website custom audiences. So Facebook's actually bringing that out where they're gonna be remo allowing people to be removed from custom audiences, which means that you're gonna have a problem there. So that's why my other option, my second uh, recommendation for you as a custom audience is a video views audience because you can't remove yourself from a video views audience. You can go and remove yourself from someone who, who visits a website, but you can't go and remove yourself from someone who's watched a video. So the more video content you do, just like this, and you share it on Facebook, on Instagram, and on social media, people are not gonna be able to remove themselves from those audiences. So if you can focus just on those four, and as I said, that last one, I'd probably be pushing you more towards videos than anything else, you're going to be able to set yourself up for success when it comes to leveraging your audiences. So number one, that is your customer slash your database. Number two is your Facebook audience. Number three is your Instagram audience. And number four is website visitors or video views because then they can't be removed from there. And if you really use and leverage those, you will set yourself up for success. Now guys, if you've liked this video, please give me a little cheeky thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you liked, any other content we can do for you. As always, we're more than willing to oblige and make sure you turn on the little bell, the little ding, so that you get these videos before anyone else and make sure that you are subscribed so you get to see them first. Until next time, I'm Kim, you all have been awesome, adios.